How's it going? Been meaning to do a walk around clip for a while. It's raining today and I thought why not do one now. But before I start, I just really would like to thank all the subscribers that have come on board over the last couple of months. Uh, sort of blown us away, the amount of people who are stopping by to check out our clips. So thank you very much guys. I really do hope you enjoy them. If there's any suggestions of any clips you guys would like to see, just drop them in the comment section below and I'll have a look at them. And if I can do them, I'll do up a little clip. So there you go. It's getting a bit breezy now. Um, so, to it, I suppose. I'll just clean the lens first. There we go, that looks half decent now. So, just in these top beds, not a lot growing on at the moment. I had to treat them with molasses again for nematodes. That's uh, one in four molasses. So I used a litre of molasses and four litres of water just on these two beds here, just to give them a good dosing to try and knock the nematodes on the head. Still do have an okra over here, a green one. I'm just leaving that pot on because I don't have a lot of green okra seed saved, so the plant's not that healthy, so as long as I get at least one pod's worth of seed from that, I'll be happy. Up here we have the angled loofah. It too is being attacked by a little caterpillar at the moment, as well as this gimpy gold cucumber, so got to try and knock those little fellas on the head. Squished a few this morning when I came out, but yeah, you get that. Down in here, pineapples. We harvested the large one a little while back. I don't know if I actually mentioned that in the clip or not. So as you can see, we have two rather large pups coming up. So those pups will be broken off and they'll be planted out into pots. Apparently they will fruit a lot quicker when they're grown from pups. So hopefully we might get some pineapples from these two next year. This one here, as you can see, is broken off all by itself today. So I think he's well and truly ready to come off. He too has a little pup down the bottom there. Someone mentioned on one of my previous clips that the smaller pineapples quite often have had their flowers pollinated. So these guys get a little flower in every center of every one of these sections. And sometimes if you're lucky, they get pollinated and there's a seed behind there. So if I find any seeds in this one, I will do a clip. There were none in the large one we harvested from there, but I'll probably do a pineapple clip anyway, just to show you how I'm going to plant them all out. In here, we have okra. The burgundy okra has gone really well. Really impressed with that. These beds haven't been flooding out either. The Ndumpalad eggplant, I harvested one off there this morning. Some more burgundy okra over there. I have some seedlings ready to go out soon. I thought I'd try some patty pan squash. Uh, Sean, or Hitman, he had a really good crop of them this year, so I thought I'd give them a try. We stay a bit hotter here longer than those guys down there, so we might get a crop off. In here we have some mango at the front, some 60-day cauliflower, some purple kohlrabi, some blue scotch curled kale, I think it's called, and some red sorrel. And up the back we have some little pita peppers, and actually that one there's a small uh, purple eggplant. I'm just growing him for curry, so... Actually growing them to get some seeds for a chap on uh, Facebook. I've met Peter, so Peter, hopefully you'll be getting them next season if I can get some fruit. Down to the rest of the patch. Tahitian lime's done really well this year. I'm impressed with the way the fruit has actually stuck. This will be the first decent crop we've gotten from this in about four years we've had it, so I'm very impressed. It's flowering again as well, so very chuffed with that. This okra. I've actually just had Terry, let's kick my shoes off, they're making squelchy noises. I actually just had Terry on Facebook ask me a couple of questions about okra, so here you go Terry. This is the plant. It's actually growing in a barrel that was infested with nematodes a while back, but we treated the barrel and it's just bounced back. So this warrigal green was actually in there while the nematodes were there and it's thriving at the moment. And the size of this, <laughs> the trunk on this okra is rather massive, so just to show you what the fruit themselves look like. There's one of the beautiful flowers on it. And this is how the fruit grows. It actually comes out from joints between the stem and the leaf section. So that's the fruit we're just leaving to go to seed. And there's a beautiful flower, as I said. So very impressed with that. Just on these warrigal greens again. These guys were so stunted when it was in here with the beetroot and the nematodes, but it's just booming at the moment. Really impressed. I'm actually getting seed pods. I don't know if you can make them out down in there, little seed pods. I'm going to be sending them down to a fellow Share the Seed member. 
Joy sent me the last of hers and none of hers germinated so I'm going to try and collect as many seeds as I can and get them back off to her and hopefully she'll have some luck with them. To show you these strawberries, these are the strawberries I took off a while ago and they're actually sending out runners. So they're going to Steve and Adie and Christy's getting some of them as well. So Gallingal down there is doing well. Anyone local wants some Gallingal, PM me and I'll see if I can spare some. I've got three there I could probably spare. These snake beans are just booming here. I've had to raise another section of trellis, a bit of water on the lens, uh, another section of trellis there just because they were climbing so well. Over here, I'll just show you something quickly over here I was very impressed with. We have on this white turmeric some beautiful flowers. So I don't know if you can see it, but they've actually got a little bit of a purple tinge around the outside or a pink tinge. So very impressed with these guys. We have had a little orchid looking like, fly, um, I don't know what you would call them. Looks like there's a little um, nectar pot in there or something. So didn't notice that the other day, very beautiful. Um, yeah, so we haven't had the orange turmeric flower this year, but this white stuff, this new variety we're trying for the first time is absolutely booming. Most impressed with that. Ah, oh, we'll skip over there. We'll come down here. I chopped off one of the white eggplants it just got a little bit too damaged one day so I took him out and he's actually put on growth from the stump. This big white one, I harvested another one from him this morning actually. I did um, the undumplet, a white one and a couple of little okra so very happy with what we've been getting off this plant. Most chuff. We've got some more flowers on here. Just a bit of a hint. An easy way to pollinate these guys is just to give them a bit of a tickle. There's no bees around. They're pretty much all a self-pollinating plant though. Over here, everything's doing well over there. We've got the carrots going well. The white beetroot, not too chuffed with that. I don't think I'll be trying them again. I think I'll stick with our early wonders. They're just down in there. Um, I have some other things planted out over in that bed. There's rainbow chard and some broccoli, but I'll cover them in another update. Uh, the chickens have been let out the grass down there, mainly because we have two new additions. See if I can get around here. Oh yeah, there we go. We've got uh, Greedy on the left down there in Chicken Little. And we have two Australops New Hampshire crosses. So, work out which is which. That's Snowball on the left and Blackie on the right. I picked those names. Very original, I thought. So. They're not getting along too well with these girls. Not so much greedy because she's the head here. Chicken Little is well and truly into these girls, letting them know their place. They have been a little bit more sociable the last couple of days, so hopefully they'll start to get on nicely. Just with this here, I will be planning that out in the near future. I'm probably just going to put another load of wheat in there. So you'll see that in another clip. And now I've got to try and untangle this <laughs> umbrella. Let me out! Let me out! Here we go. Woohoo! Um, quick little walk down here. Oh, got a whole heap of little weird mushrooms popping up everywhere. I'm loving this weather. Rightio. This one's for Sean, for Hitman again. This is your Bigelokias. Look in there, mate. She's teeming with fruit. So, in these beds here, this bed here actually had another nematode treatment. We found them infesting all the beetroot that were down the front here, so they got pulled. And I must say, since I did the treatment, everything's bounced back nicely. The capsicums or the sweet peppers here have put on some nice growth. Uh, this one here as well, we've got some more fruit down on there. Over here, the KY1 tomatoes are a determinant Australian paste variety. They're doing really well. I think I'm just going to let these guys vine out for now. I might try and pull some of the leaders over this side up just so I can pop some kohlrabi here in a couple of days. Over here, that French marigold is massive. I'm actually thinking about pulling it so I've got some room for some other plants. Water chestnuts, they're sending up new shoots everywhere. And these snake beans have just gone absolutely burko. I've got a load on there I've got to pull off tonight and I've also got a whole heap of saved ones upstairs. And this so-called market chili is doing well still too, so loads of fruit on that. Um, yeah, I'm starting to get very wet, so I might make a move upstairs, hey? Just one more thing I thought I'd show you. We're actually getting flowers on our raspberry. This is a native raspberry, and yeah, 
finally getting flowers on it and we're coming into winter there's another load of buds in there so very impressed with that I just noticed we have gall wasp on the kaffir so I'm gonna have to take him off oh and I don't know if you've seen our other little additions we have a couple of little pigs they're not fertilizing the garden very much though a bit, bit of a disappointment in that regard so that's pretty much all it for the walk around clip had to finish it in the house tad wet out there once again thank you very much to all the subscribers who have come on board uh, I hope you enjoy the clips and yeah just let us know if there's anything you'd like to see like I said before other than that hopefully you'll see a nice dry clip in about a week or two's time so a couple of seedlings in I've got some more seeds I didn't get to plan on the weekend I was mucking around with the aquaponics but such is hope you enjoyed that very quick wet little walkthrough so any comments questions suggestions just drop them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you other than that have a great one take it easy Gotcha.